This is Dr. Ford Brewer with PrevMed, Heart Attack, Stroke, and Cancer Prevention. Why not uh, prevent it rather than worrying about getting treated for it after the fact? Today we're going to talk about uh, the microalbumin and creatinine ratio. What is that? It's one of the inflammation panel tests. To get back up to 30,000 feet, you remember that we want to know if you have plaque, then we want to know if you have inflammation because inflammation is the process biochemically in your blood that causes you to lay down plaque and to um, make that plaque unstable. So there are several tests. I'll be talking about the others in other videos, but one of the most important tests is the microalbumin creatinine ratio. What is that? Well, it's uh, actually a, a urine test. Um, <clears throat> and it gets back to the kidneys. So if you look at this picture, that's a picture of a kidney. And as you see, uh, kidneys are basically just a collection of filters. This is a filter, it's called a glomerulus. There are about a hundred, oh, excuse me, a million glomeruli for each kidney. And as you can see, the glomerulus is nothing but an arterial or capillary bed surrounded by a urine collection bed. This is actually an illustration for uh, kidneys that have been affected by diabetes and spilling protein, which is what we're looking for. And here you see the steps to prevent that. Control your blood glucose, control uh, blood pressure, control um, cholesterol, don't smoke, does that sound familiar in terms of uh, also preventing heart attack and stroke? In other words, we're all worried about that endothelium, the intima, what Bradley and uh, Amy call in their book, uh, Beat the Heart Attack Gene, the tennis court, because there's about six tennis courts uh, worth of space of endothelium or intima in the, uh, in the arteries of the body. Now this is a diagram and again it shows a little bit better. The blood coming in the artery, it goes into the capillary bed and right here there is nothing between this capillary bed and this urine collection tubule except the intima, the tennis court, the uh, endothelium. So if that is cracked we know we have damage and inflammation. So, <clears throat> remember this was a picture of a large uh, example of it, but right here it shows where the endothelium was cracked. And that is what we want to avoid. We want to know if that endothelium is cracked. So let's get back to the microalbumin creatinine test and figure out how we... Uh, how we can interpret how it's done and how we can interpret it. Well, <clears throat> so you can look for a microalbumin uh, with test strips. They're very simple. You buy them at the, um, at the drugstore. You urinate on one of these strips, which you uh, get out of the jar, and then match the color to the concentration. But that's not going to do it, though. Here's the problem. Um, if you're dehydrated, that, in, that level of albumin is going to go up falsely. If you're overhydrated, that's going to go down. So you need something. You need a uh, chemical in that urine that has a steady state uh, secretion pattern. So you can tell. Um, you can rule out hydration, dehydration, uh, and uh, filtration rates, things like that. Well, it turns out there is one. It's called creatinine. Creatinine is a waste product made by the muscle. It, is, uh, it goes to the kidney and is secreted, filtered through the glomeruli, and then uh, again is secreted at a, a um, steady pace. Well, <clears throat> so what you do then is you, get, you look at the creatinine and the microalbumin, you make a ratio, compare it, and that tells you if there are cracks in the endothelium. If there are cracks in the endothelium in the kidney or the glomeruli, remember this is a biochemical process. 
Just like if there are uh, plaques in the wall of the carotid artery, there are plaques in the walls of all the arteries. If there are cracks in the glomeruli, there are cracks in all of the uh, intima. Now, what are the numbers? Here, here's the, the test results that we usually look at. Um, we usually use a lab called Cleveland Heart Labs. And uh, this is a female patient. Uh, this is the uh, microalbumin creatinine uh, ratio. She has a level of 7.5. Now, <clears throat> what are the normals? Um, for women, it's lower than for men. Uh, probably due to a couple of things. A little bit lower, uh, maybe a filtration rate issue, but also a muscle mass issue as well. The ratio that we tend to see with women is less than 3.9. Uh, milligrams of, uh, excuse me, micrograms of, of albumin per gram of creatinine. And for men, the number is less than 7.5. So again, that helps you understand what we're looking for when we're looking for inflammation in the artery walls using a urine test. We'll talk about other tests like uh, plaque 2 um, HSCRP or C-reactive protein and MPO myeloperoxidase in other videos.